Okay, we're with uh, my good friend, Dr. Rivka Lambert-Adler, who uh, has many hats, of course, and uh, mostly she's one of my best friends, together with her husband, Rabbi Elon Adler, who we'll hear from tonight as well, or today as well, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, Rivka uh, li uh, lived in Baltimore, then made Aliyah to uh, Malay Adumim, where we uh, became good friends. Recently, she moved to Efrat in Gush Tzion, just south of Jerusalem. I'm even further south than she is in Har Hebron. We came closer and, to you. That's right. And uh, we are both activists in the uh, pro-Christian, pro-Israel -Is, pro Christian and Jewish space. And uh, we're here to hear from uh, uh, Rivka. I think a lot of our viewers know her, but for those of you who don't, you're in for a treat. So Rivko, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you're doing nowadays? Okay, so I, I really see my main work in this space um, in two dimensions. Number one, I'm a writer, I'm a journalist, and one of, one of my clients is Israel 365 News, which used to be known as Breaking Israel News. And so I write a lot about the intersection between our communities, between the Christian community and the Jewish community at, with Israel in the core. Um, and as a result of that, I also have become a Torah teacher for, for people coming from the Christian world who are interested in learning Torah from Jewish people. So, um, so I think th th that's my main work, writing and teaching. That's great. I just remembered, especially when you mentioned teaching, that you are, of course, a teacher in Root Source. And so uh, we are actually talking to you because you are going to be one of the beneficiaries of the... Uh, of the of this uh, campaign and i'll take an opportunity to uh, remind everybody to go now to um uh, buy tickets and or maybe just donate and uh, please donate to the campaign how do you do you work in the jewish christian relationship space so unlike a lot of other people i don't really have an organization it's really just me, me and, and my husband to some extent, um, sharing authentic Torah and also sharing our Shabbat table. So it's not really true right now because people can't come at this particular time. Um, but it, it, my work is, is building relationships one on one. Um, also, I think it's very important to mention that, that there are, um, relative to the number of men in this field, there are relatively fewer women. And so I have a particular interest in connecting with women from the Christian world, because I think to, to study Torah and to hear from another woman is a whole other thing. But I also work to understand this phenomenon globally, um, by which I mean actually uh, globally, like in the sense of all over the world, but also the bigger picture. So. Two of my projects, they're very, very connected. I published in um, 2017, 10 from the Nations, A Torah Awakening Among Non-Jews, which was the first um, and maybe still the only book about this phenomenon of people coming from Christian backgrounds interested in learning Torah from Jews. And really I have to thank Root Source because I, I got started in all of this professionally through Root Source. Um, and I also developed very recently, which I'm happy to share with anybody who contacts me, um, a taxonomy, which is a graphic representation that I put together based on my experience of the different stages that people coming from Christian backgrounds go through as they get closer to the Jewish people and the land of Israel and Torah study. That's very interesting. Frankly, I, I you can keep your tax on a you. I don't really want to have any tax on a me. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you very much, Rivka. And uh, we're looking forward to being in touch with you. And of course, anybody who's interested in being in contact with Rivka can certainly uh, reach her through uh, root-source.com. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure being with you tonight. My pleasure. Thanks for asking me to speak.